Hello, welcome to my video. My name is Katie Foster. I'm going to be doing my video project on Achillean hand axes, but we'll be mostly focusing on how Homo erectus use these tools. But first, I'll be going into what they are, who used them, where they came from, and how they were made so we can get an idea on how things could contribute to what these hand axes were used for. So let's begin. All right, let's start off by talking about a brief explanation of what these Acheulean hand axes are. Acheulean hand axes are large chip stone objects that were made into a tool and became one of three tools that were part of the Acheulean toolkit. They are characterized by their distinctive oval and pear shape, as you can see in the picture on the left. The most common hand axes have a pointed end and a rounded base, which gives them their characteristic shape. It is symmetrical from both left and right and back and front. Achillean hand axes were commonly referred to as Achillean bifaces, and this is due to the tools not always being used as axes, which we will talk about later on in the presentation. The name biface comes from the fact that the our typical model is generally bifacial lithic flake and almond shaped. All right, now let's talk about uh, who used and made these stone tools. The vast majority of Acheulean hand axes were made and used by Homo erectus, which is an ancient human species that lived in Africa and was the first of our ancestors to move out of that continent. We know that this is the case due to the hand axes typically being found with Homo erectus remains. It is thought that Acheulean technologies first developed about 1.76 million years ago, but Acheulean hand axes and their associated tools were actually not the first tools ever used. The oldest tool set is known as the Oldowan tradition, and they include a large suit of chopping tools, which are cruder and simpler tools, thought to have been used by Homo habilis. So actually, the earliest evidence of stone tool napping technology dates around 3.3 million years ago, which was much earlier than the Acheulean hand axes. Okay, so now we ask the question, where did these Acheulean hand axes come from? The Acheulean hand axe was first discovered in the 1840s in the Lower Sums Valley of France at an archaeological site named St. Achule, which is actually where the name Acheulean comes from. Early hand axes that have been associated with Homo erectus were found in Africa and Europe. The later ones seem to be associated with both Homo erectus and Homo heidelbergus, and several hundred thousand hand axes have been recorded from across Africa and much of West Asia, South Asia, East Asia, and Europe. All right, let's talk about how these Acheulean hand axes were made. Materials Homo erectus used were determined by available local stone types. Flint or chert is most often associated with the hand axe, but its use is concentrated in Western Europe. In Africa, sedimentary and igneous rock, such as mudstone and basalt, were most widely used. Other source materials found included quartzite, andesite, sandstone, and shale. Even relatively soft rock, such as limestone, could be exploited. Obsidian, which is a natural volcanic glass, shattered easily and was rarely used for that reason. Homo erectus created these hand axes by using a hammer stone, which is a large rock, to break off big pieces. These large flakes could be reused to create tools. Then they would shape the fine edge by removing smaller flakes with smaller rocks and pieces of bone. Once the rough out shape was created, a further phase of flaking was undertaken to make the tool thinner. 
the thinning flakes were removed using a soft hammer, such as bone or antler. The final shaping was then applied to the usable cutting edge of the tool, again using fine removal of flakes. Some Acheulean tools were sharpened instead by the removal of the tranchet flake. This was struck from the lateral edge of the hand axe, close to the intended cutting er area, resulting in a removal of the flake running along or parallel to the blade of the axe to create a neat and very sharp working edge. All right, so now we've finally come to the big question. What were the Achillean hand axes used for? This is actually a complicated question due to the fact that there is no academic consensus that describes their use. Even after finding so many of them, we don't actually know why or how the Achillean hand axe was used. It's a mystery. There was actually a number of ideas and explanations as to why the hand axe appeared, which comes into our next topic, theories. All right, so just like how we like to read our conspiracy theories on whether the earth is flat or not, there are quite a few theories as to why the Achillean hand axe were actually used for. We're going to discuss some of the biggest theories, such as the Achillean Swiss Army knife theory, the sexy hand axe theory, and the killer frisbee theory. We will also go into why these theories are possible and some problems each theory has. So let's get into some of these theories. So the first and probably the most well-known theory as to why Homo erectus used Achillean hand axes is the Achillean Swiss Army knife theory. The different forms and shapes of known specimens as well as use wear analysis that showed some wear patterns on the hand axes led to them being described as the Achillean Swiss Army knife, meaning each type of tool could have been used for multiple tasks. Some of these tasks would have included digging, hacking, cutting, scraping, chopping, piercing, and hammering. Primarily, they would be used for butchering meat and also good for breaking open nuts and grubs. This theory has some problems though, like in some cases, the full perimeter of the ax is sharp, which means that if you wanted to hold it, there'd be a sharp blade digging into your palm. Another problem with this theory is that some of the axes are symmetrical, which requires more effort than necessary if you're just using it to break up nuts or cut meat. So this leads into the next theory, the sexy hand axe theory. This theory suggests that the, ax the hand axe didn't have a use per se, but it was created mostly as a way of showing off for your mate. Special hand axes were made and displayed by males in search of a mate, using a large, well-made hand axe to demonstrate that they possessed sufficient strength and skill to pass on to their offspring. Once they had attracted a female at a group gathering, it is suggested that they would discard their axes, which perhaps explains why there are so many found. What makes this theory a possible theory is that making these things are actually really, really hard. Making one of these hand axes requires effort, skill, and time, and can take anywhere from 15 minutes to several hours to make. So why spend so much time doing it unless you're showing off, right? You're showing the opposite sex what you can do. A problem that comes with this theory, though, is that not all hand axes are nice and neat and symmetrical. There's a lot of variation and a lot depends on what rock they're made of and how precisely the sides have been sharpened. The hand axes weren't all pretty. Let's go into the last theory. The killer frisbee theory. Uh, this, this theory actually reminded me of um, a movie in the 1980s called Hard Ticket to Hawaii, where a killer frisbee is almost, uh, almost a, actually decapitates a man. Uh, which is where I got the picture from. Uh, I suggest finding the scene on YouTube. It's really funny. 
Anyways, this theory suggests that the hand axes were actually made to be hunting projectiles. This proposed that the hand axes were used as missile weapons to hunt prey because some of the rounder specimens of Acheulean hand axes that were found. They would throw the hand axes at a herd of animals at a water hole so as to stun one of them. This assertion was also inspired by the findings from an archaeological site in Kenya. This theory is possible due to some of the hand axes showing signs of heavy damage, which would be indicative of throwing. So perhaps hunters would bombard animals with hand axes, which might not be enough to kill an animal, but the stones could definitely maim a few and actually give hunters an advantage. So this hypothesis would actually make sense um, as to why they're sharp all the way around, symmetrical and aerodynamic. But there are of course some problems with this theory as well. Uh, one is that not all hand axes are sharp all the way around and perfectly symmetrical. These things were made on three different continents over the course of a million years. So there's a lot of variation when it comes to this tool. All right, and that concludes my video project on Acheulean hand axes and how a Homo erectus used them. Thank you for watching.